Schools competition is good because it really does focus on local democracy. The new schools competition really does engage local people. It can engage faith groups, church groups, um, political groups, estate groups, social groups, pub groups. It really has that opportunity to generate the discussion in the area rather than uh, someone just says, would you go and run that school please? It really does engage. Now, if that engagement with the local community, the local business groups, uh, the local federation of small businesses, whoever that's likely to be, if that is so important, then the schools competition is the way of making that happen. I think the, the real benefits of, of the changes which are being brought through are, are very much bringing together the academia and the business worlds. Um, clearly, um, we have to go forward in partnership and very much with my background, which comes from the, the private business sector, working alongside the, the educational experts, gives us a real opportunity to drive forward um, the, the educational standards and also the educational experience of our children, because our children are going to be the raw materials for our businesses uh, of the future. Well, I got involved with the uh, Bonal School Group uh, towards the end of 2007. Um, after Julia had done the research to show there was a need for a new school within Bolnor Village and one of the first meetings she held opening up to the community to see if there was the backing within the community to go ahead and put forward a proposal for the new school. And um, I found it amazing sitting in this hall where listening to this idea that us as a community group and parents could have the opportunity to build, design and then govern a school of our own. And um, I sat there and listened to this and at the time I just had um, two daughters who would be eligible to go to the school and I thought what a fantastic opportunity for a community group and a parent back group to set up and run and govern a brand new school in a, what is a brand new housing development here in Boulder. And to me that was just an incredibly exciting opportunity to get involved in and one I couldn't refuse. Pick up the phone um, and talk to whoever your opium consultant is about the process. Um, so just keep keeping in touch. I don't think of the OPM consultants just as people with technical knowledge. That um, it's we're interested in building communities' capacity. Um, so um, as far as we can do that, we will do that too. My understanding of the community in relation to the school project uh, is, is evolving as we speak. Uh, I think I'm finding out a lot more about what people really want from their school. And it isn't just education. Uh, they, want, they want their children to be inspired, uh, to be their best. They want to know that what the school is doing is a, is a, a part of the jigsaw within the community. In other words, it's the, it's the link between this generation of workers and parents and the next generation of workers and parents. And I think prior to being involved in this, I just saw the school as a place you go to get, get exams passed. Well, it's not that at all. Uh, that's a very, very small part of the process. Uh, it, it's the jam in the sandwich. It, it, it's what makes the two halves stick together. And because it's a rolling process, because it's this generation of kids and the next one and the next one, um, it's, it's, the, it's the one element of, of the community which uh, has the ability to, to guarantee the smooth progression in the community. Otherwise, we find, for example, if a major uh, employer folds locally, there's a big hiccup. Uh, people tend to panic and leave the island or whatever. Um, part of the school's role is to provide the continuity within the community. Um, being involved in building a new school or even just writing a proposal, even if, if you don't win, is an absolutely unique opportunity on a new community. You meet people you might not otherwise have met, you learn about your parish council, the people who represent you, and you learn a massive amount about other things in the community, you learn about transport issues, you learn about population dynamics and housing problems and it's really interesting in itself as well as being potentially massively valuable to the community. I'd like to think that as a group we're well known and individuals of us are, are known as well. 
the community didn't exist when we moved here. It was houses. Nice houses, nice people, but no community. Now there is a community. And when there is a school, that will be the hub of that community. It will be a place where all members of the community are welcome, whether they have children or whether they don't. And it will be a place that actually makes the community a better place to live. Um, and our involvement in that makes me very proud. What do we learn about our community? Well, we discovered, for example, that there were some sections, and I won't name them, uh, who we had expected to be very vocal, who in fact didn't want to know, were not interested. We discovered that uh, one of the most potent groups in the community were the children themselves. They were, they were over the moon at being asked their opinions. Uh, they were delighted to be part of the very broad design process. Um, we made a special point of canvassing their opinions in, in several age groups to make sure that they knew that they were being involved in the process. Um, so yes, I think I was surprised by where help didn't come from, where it did come from. We first heard about OPM at the very first meeting that we went to. Um, a lady from the OPM actually presented um, a short presentation about when the OPM would come in, so we knew it would be further down the line, and about the fact that um, five days of consultation would be available to any uh, group that wanted to put a proposal together, which was obviously very helpful because, um, as you probably tell from reading our proposal, it, it is quite a large task, so um, the fact that there was some support there um, was obviously something that helped, helped us to, to take the step and feel that we actually could do this. The New Schools competition uh, really can enhance the whole of a community. Schools are the hub of a community very often. They are the centre of that community. In primary schools, uh, I think it's true that primary school head teachers are still, and, and teachers are still from the few groups are still trusted. You know, politicians are no longer trusted, secondary schools are no longer trusted, but actually primary schools are still that high level of trust. So the school's the hub of the community. It's the place where the mums and dads meet at the school gate. They hopefully meet at the parents' associations. They meet when they get to go to parents' evenings to hear how their youngsters getting on. They're also, as we can move into the secondary section, uh, the new schools competition in getting the right people, the right organisation running it, <coughs> actually can quite, quite often lead to regeneration. You speak to your local authority. You know, if, if, if a local authority is running a competition for a new school, what they want to receive are the best possible bids and proposals that they can. Um, certainly we would have willingly spoke to, and we did, um, not as much perhaps as I would have liked, but spoke to proposers in order to um, help them understand what we were seeking for the competition, um, to help them overcome any perhaps of the um, particularly those proposals that came from the community and from parent-based groups, if they were you know, struggling with some of the bureaucratic meaning of the paperwork that was required, I would say yes, contact the local authority, you know, let them um, help you to effectively then help the local authority by having the maximum number of good quality and compliant bids that they can. And ultimately from a local authority point of view, clearly what we, what we want to achieve, we want to achieve the very best provision that we can get for the community. Um, and sometimes, and certainly in, the, in, fact, in all of the competitions that we've seen, we've had at least two um, proposals in each competition that have been brought forward through, throughout, you know, completely through the process. And um, there have been elements of each of those bids which actually would have been good to have had, but they come with a package. And we've, um, through OPM, um, we've tried to encourage some brokerage between groups to see if we can benefit by um, bringing elements of proposals together and that's proved difficult to do. Don't be afraid of not knowing anything about education. There are some good educationists out there with some pretty good ideas who want to work with groups like this. Uh, I've, I've been surprised to find that there are educational professionals who are desperate to change the way education works in this country. They're out there, they want to, to, be, to be involved. They will provide the professional input to a group. What they can't do is provide the, the weird ideas, the, the brainstorming, the, 
um, the community action that the whole bid process must have to be buoyant. So I would say in the first place, don't be frightened about that. Secondly, recognise it's going to be hard work because there's a lot of work to do, a hell of a lot of work to do, but it's so rewarding. As it rolls forward and you get to one stage after the other, you think, oh, we've achieved that, great. Now we're just a bit closer. Uh, and when the doors open in 2011 of our new school, uh, I hope I'll be there because <laughs> I want to see the kids come in. <laughs> um, what the grouping provides is additional expertise for the school. Uh, we got into some groups we'd not had before and we had people who were wanting to be part of the future of the school and feeling that they had something to offer. Um, it was uh, a boost to our existing partnerships, our existing uh, governance, our existing approaches and that created additionality and that additionality is very welcome because the more that we can get people working together for community education, the stronger that community education will be. So I think that integrated approach where business is very much working more closely with the local authority, more closely with individual schools, can only benefit everyone. It, you know, without too much of a soundbite, it's a win-win situation. It's, it's very complicated. It can be, to some people, complex, difficult to engage with, difficult to understand with and it's important to note that there's, there are a number of organisations out there now who can give great support. Um, when we worked on the Isle of Wight, uh, the, the organisation OPM really did make a difference in the way it communicated, in the way the documentation was prepared for those different groups, in setting out the standards and expectations. So I'd really encourage parents and, and, and different groups not to be frightened of the system, but to engage with the appropriate bodies who are there, available to them, quite often supported through government grants to help them through the process and let them take away that complicated side of all of this and make it into a simple, effective process so that they get what they want at the end of the day, which is world-class outcomes through their world-class teachers in their world-class communities. Mm -hmm.